What's up guys, Mr. Bingham here bringing you a new video. Today we're going to be taking a closer look at iRacing's new qualifying scrutiny system. You'll be pleased to know that I've fixed my audio, so you'll be able to hear me in this uh, in this video. Um, if not, we should probably put an end, um, an early end to my YouTube career. If you're new to the channel, then please do hit the subscribe button and head over to my Twitch channel, Mr. Underscore Bingham. Um, you'll find a link in the description uh, below. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So we'll start with learning the basics. Um, so firstly, what is the scrutiny system? It's a new system introduced by iRacing um, that will be used in all official road and oval sessions. The purpose of the system is to prevent unrealistic uh, tire warming and lap preparation activities. The general expectation um, is that drivers will pull out of the pits in a controlled manner, get up to speed relatively quickly, um, and then complete a lap in a controlled manner way. Now, if you don't do that, that's when things start to get a little bit tricksy. If iRacing deem that you've been um, badly behaved in terms of your tyre warming activities, then at first you'll get a furled black flag. Now, a furled black flag um, is just a warning um, at this stage, so um, no disqualification. Um, it's a warning to stop doing what it is that you're doing, um, otherwise a more severe penalty will potentially come into play. However, if the behaviour continues, then you will be presented with a black flag and you'll be disqualified from the qualifying session. So, unlucky son, you're starting from the back of the grid. Now, a filled black flag will be reset um, in a number of different scenarios. Resetting the car or resetting back to the pits, along with completing a lap, will cause the reset of the filled black flag. However, it's important to understand that this does not clear the current warning and um, further bad behaviour um, would result in disqualification from the session, uh, from the qualifying session that is. So how does it actually work in practice? Well the answer to that question is it depends uh, because the rules are applied um, at different levels of strictness depending on what type of session um, it is that you're in. There are six levels of strictness, um, four that we care about and two that we don't really care about that much. The four that we care about are permissive, lenient, moderate and strict um, and the two that we don't really care about are off and severe. Um, the reason we don't care about those two is because they're not used in official sessions so it's quite rare that we're going to come across them. In terms of the levels of strictness that will be used, uh, permissive will be used in rookie races, lenient will be used in D-class races, moderate in C-class races and then strict will be used in both B and A-class races. As I mentioned, the other two categories are off and severe. Now, off is fairly self-explanatory. You'll be able to do whatever you like um, in terms of your tyre warming activities and preparations without causing any issues, provided it's within the sporting code. But as we've mentioned, off will not be used in official sessions and so this will be for um, hosted sessions and league sessions only if the organisers of the league decide that's what they want to do. What I'd like to do now is have a look at what we can get away with under the different levels of strictness and we're going to start in reverse order. So we're going to start with A and B class races um, that would be set to the strict setting. Okay guys, we've jumped in the sim. Um, we've got the strictness set to strict. Um, as would be the setting for A and B class races. Um, this is an AI session, uh, so you will see other cars on track, um, but no real racers were harmed in the making of this, this video. Um, and another prior warning is that we are in the Porsche GT3 Cup car, which isn't a car that I normally drive, um, and so don't expect um, <laughs> any spectacular um, driving standards in this video but that's not what we're here for we're here to see what we can get away with in terms of um, qualifying outlap behavior um, now there's there's three main ways I guess that people um, try to warm the tires um, that, that could be perceived as um, unrealistic or abusive um, excessive burnouts 
scrubbing the tires um, or excessively scrubbing the tires deliberately um, and then also um, locking the uh, the brakes up um, under braking so uh, we're going to start by pulling out of the pits here um, just a reminder we're on the strict setting here um, and we're going to do a burnout and what we'll be able to do here is we'll be able to in induce a furled black flag by doing a long burnout So as you can see there, we managed to induce a furled black flag by doing a long burnout. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset back to the pits. That will reset the furled black flag, but the warning is still sitting there in the background. And what I'll be able to show you here is that you can get away with doing a burnout, okay, without inducing a furled black flag, um, but not as long as the one that I just did. So about there is probably the sweet spot. At that point in time, you can head out on your lap. Now, we've got a car trying to come by us, not very aggressively. Um, the thing to be aware of here is that that third black flag is still sitting there in the background as a warning. So the next thing that I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna excessively scrub the tires going down the straight here. So just over rotating the steering wheel. <laughs> we might have to do that one again and just a reminder we've still got that third black flag um, warning sitting in the background which means that when we do get um, told off next um, it will be a disqualification so we'll start excessively scrubbing the tyres so turning beyond the grip levels and what you can see there is um, after maybe five or six weaves there, we've been disqualified. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back to the pits. So we've completely cleared the black flags now as though we've just entered a fresh session. Um, and what we're going to do, we're going to head out on a lap um, and we're going to try and induce some, um, or put some heat into the tyres by locking the brakes um, and just see how aggressively we can do that before we get a warning. So we've got a warning the second time that we've done that there. So what you can see is that on the strict setting, it's pretty strict. Um, you can get away with a little bit of um, excessive warming of the tyres or preparations, but at this stage here now, we'll just be expected to almost drive a completely clean lap as if you were um, actually trying to put your qualifying lap in because anything slightly excessive like that even though it's under control, or out of control, should I say, surprisingly didn't actually um, net me a disqualification there. Um, I'm very surprised that I didn't get disqualified for, uh, for that. Because if we do the same again, if we end up spinning out here by getting the back end out. There you go. So we've ended up with a disqualification. So really what that means guys is that um, the most effective way of warming your tyres up um, in a strict session really will be to do a, a short burnout coming out of the pits, scrub the tyres um, just a little bit um, uh, and then really you've just got to go out and, and finish the lap um, which for me this is, a, this is a good thing, I don't like unrealistic um, methods of warming the uh, warming the tires. Um, I wish people just went out and did their did their laps. That's that's how I um, do it. Um, short of doing a burnout out of the uh, out of the pits. Um, so for me, this is a, a good introduction to i racing. Um, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to head into a moderate session, um, which will be applicable in C class races, um, and we'll see what we can get away with um, in uh, in that session. Okay, so we've loaded into a new session um, and um, one thing that I um, failed to mention in the previous session is that when you're in a qualifying session um, or race session, you can come into the information tab and under race status, you'll be able to see the level of scrutiny that's applicable in that session. So as I mentioned, we've loaded into a moderate session here 
Um, we're just going to follow the same process, see what we can get away with in terms of burnouts, scrubbing the tyres, and then um, braking and locking up the brakes. So, as you can see, I managed to get away with a much, much longer burnout there. Um, we're actually going to see if we can just do a continuous one um, without coming off the power at all until the tyres decide to just start gripping up themselves. There we go. So, we managed to induce a furled black flag there. So, we're going to reset back to the pits. I think I've just caused um, a fairly major crash behind me. Just going to try and do another long burnout just to see whether the length of the second burnout that I did was affected by the fact that I'd already done one, even though I did reset back to the pits. So we'll see. No, it wasn't. So yeah, you can get away with a fairly lengthy burnout in this moderate setting or under this moderate setting so we'll see and um, we'll try and do one now that doesn't result in a in a black flag bearing in mind that because we only reset back to the pits and i've not actually cleared the flags we do still have the warning going on in the background so if i get this wrong i'm going to get disqualified i reckon about there so we got away with that so let's stop the car Reset back to the pits. We've got an AI car behind us. We're going to clear the flag. And we're now going to see what we can get away with in terms of scrubbing the tyres. <laughs> let's, uh, let's reset back to the pits again, eh? Two cars behind us. We'll let them go. So we, we maybe I think we got away with maybe four or five um, kind of excessive weaves scrubbing the tyres in the uh, strict session. So let's see what we can get away with in this session here. That was about nine. So, as you can see, the the leniency has increased. So, we're going to reset again and see what we can get away with in terms of locking up the brakes. So, we're going to head out and we're going to try and lock up the brakes. See what we can get away with. It's difficult to uh, keep the car in a straight line, or at least this car in a straight line when you do that, so. I'm not sure this is the most advisable tire warming strategy. So it seems about the same level of strictness as strict. Um, I think it was three brake lockups that we um, kind of induced a penalty with last time. Now, one thing that we didn't test in the strict setting, um, which I'll try testing now, and we'll go back to the strict setting if it does result in a black flag, um, is just dragging the brakes. So. Hopefully you can see that on the telemetry there, that we're just dragging the brakes constantly here. Now I'm not sure whether iRacing actually simulates um, the brakes warming up, putting heat into the tyres or not. I know they certainly didn't used to. Um, Now, if they do, it would appear that I've potentially found a flaw in the 
scrutiny system because this does does not appear to be resulting in any sort of warning. Nope. So... Yeah, if, if that is putting heat into the brakes and the tyres, then they're probably going to have to do something about that. And um, I'm sorry to the iRacing community that I am going to put this video out there and it is going to become common knowledge if this is an exploit that can be used. But um, at least then it will get fixed. Yeah, clearly this is causing... It's not going to cause a failed black flag. So I've decided to load back into a strict session um, and test dragging of the brakes. I didn't want to leave any stone unturned. So we're just going to head out and we're just going to drag the brakes about the lap as we did before. Just see if that results in any sort of warning. I don't think it's going to though, by the looks of things. So the real question is, is this putting heat into the tyres? Uh, because if it is, then something needs to be done about this. Yeah, this is clearly not going to cause any sorts of issues. We're kind of a quarter of the way round the lap now, and... Dragging the brakes hasn't caused anything, so clearly that's not going to cause any issues. What we're going to do, we're going to load into a lenient session, and we're not going to bother with permissive. Permissive is for rookie races, and um, I think it's fair to say that if you're racing in the rookie series, um, typically you should just be concerned with trying to put a decent lap in. Um, as opposed to trying to absolutely maximise the wall and grip of your tyres on your outlap. So, let's bring the car to a stop here and we'll head on over into a lenient session. Right, so we've loaded into a lenient session. Same test. Going to head out and do a burnout. Reckon I can get away with a fairly long one here. So the car's actually gripped up before we've been hit with any sort of warning. So what we'll see if we can do here is bring it to a stop and do another burnout. So okay, so at least in the Porsche GT3 Cup, clearly you can do a long burnout, uh, but if you try and do a second one, you're going to get a slap on the wrist. Now in terms of tyre scrubbing, we're going a little bit faster than we were on the other lap, so let's just bring that, slow that down a little bit. There we go, so we got up to about 13 or 14 um, weaves there before we induced the disqualification. Um, I'm not even going to go out and try and lock up the brakes because um, it's going to allow me to do it so many times that I will end up spinning at some point and I just don't think that that's um, a, um effective way of um, warming up the uh, the tyres. The um, so um, we're going to bring the analysis to an end there. Well that's it for today guys. Um, I hope you have enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful. Um, as always, um, if you would do me the kindness of subscribing to the channel if you have enjoyed the content and heading on over to my Twitch channel, Mr. Underscore Bingham, that would be most appreciated. Thank you.